G'day guys, this is your bubbly host, H2O Queen. I hope my Dune Stream family and viewers are well. I stream on Twitch. If you want to go click on the description below and go and give me a follow, the support would be much appreciated. I go live every Monday, Friday and Sunday. And at the time of this recording, I'm hopeful this should be going live um, just before I stream on Twitch at 7pm tonight. Uh, so I am following up on a response video that I made a couple of days ago regarding my top five Pokemon figures that I think will be coming into Pokemon Jewel uh, whenever Shadowbug 2000 releases the next selection of figures. So now I am doing a Pokemon Jewel video based on my five top plates that I think will be coming through into Pokemon Jewel whenever Shutterbug 2000 decides to release them. So I'm going to switch over screens and we're going to do a little bit of a share as to what I think will be coming through next. Hang on tight guys, I won't be long. So as you can see um, on the top left hand corner next to the library text, you can see 166 at 166. So that is a lot of Pokemon Jewel plates that are currently available. There won't be any more added. Um, however, that is still a lot to pick from and a lot of plates do different things. Uh, we've got yellow plates, for example, that will evolve a uh, figure into their max evolved form. We've got our heart plates which deal with health, red plates that deal with attack and we've got our purple plates which usually are an action plate and do something. Our blue plates usually have an active involvement with the wheel and we have one special little plate down here, um, reveal grass and also um, recycle which are only two green plates and they do something specifically um, with plates in general um, so that just gives you a little bit of insight as to what this plate library is and what happens here so we're going to uh, digress a little bit more further into this so I'm going to scroll down into a really good um, plate here invisibility uh, cape is a very good example so in case you guys are not aware, this is ID39, so it's just letting you know what the um, plate location is. It's an EX plate and it's uh, choose one of your Pokemon on the bench. For this turn, it can move through other Pokemon when making an MP move. So essentially what this does is that uh, any figure that is on your bench, it will be able to move through other Pokemon when it makes an MP move. So almost, um, so like if you had to go through it like a ghost would as an example. And as you guys are wondering, like just on the bottom uh, of the plate, just above the back button, the these are, there are three purple dashes and you're probably wondering what they are. So for the newer players or for the veteran players that might just need a refresh, um, so each dash is equivalent to one point and what these points do is that they actually count towards how many uh, points you can have in totality and there are um, eight points in uh, total. So they're as, as many as you're allowed to have when you are creating your own team. Now creating our own teams are currently not a mechanism involved in the game, however Shutterbug will We'll release this in further time once we've progressed through the alpha. Uh, so for now, this contains three out of eight points. So this will allow you another five more points to use to add towards your total. So you can add other plates like max revive, double chance, X speed, etc. And once you have capped it at eight points, you can't add any more plates. So that is a really cool mechanism and it's a cross for every single player. It doesn't change and you can carry um, less plates if you desire however if you're playing in league when it was out officially a year or two ago uh, yeah you'd always want to be carrying uh, plate points that were always at eight value regardless if you are uh, were in um, beginner legend league etc uh, so one unique Pokemon Jewel figure, I just have to mention it, is Genesect. Now, Genesect in this case was so, so awesome. We're going to look at Chill Drive. Chill Drive was assigned to Genesect and as was Chill Drive EX. I think Genesect had about five 
plates just designated towards genesect alone so it is an op figure i have to say having that many plates assigned to it i don't know how genesect got that lucky or why Haroz, the developers of pokemon jewel um were found genesect so desirable but it can do some really cheesy stuff if used correctly and I look forward to creating a video in time discussing how figures and plates work and how and when to use them. So keep an eye out for that guys as Shadowbug2000 continues to work through bugs and to also um, as we bounce through the game and get more uh, elements I guess you could say. So I'm excited for that as well. When I was thinking, before I created this video, I put some thought into it. Um, I didn't want to add uh, plates such as Gold Block, Hurdle Jump, or Long Throw. Uh, what I'm concerned is that at the moment, we have a very vast meta based upon common, uncommon, and rare. And if you're lucky, you might get yourself an EX figure. Now, my thought behind this was is that if we get these really overpowering plates that I would find that would complement EX or UX figures, I'm just wondering how they would perform long term and, you know, it, I don't know if it would be as exciting uh, that these plates would generate when those more stronger Pokemon do come out. And I also want it to be relevant to the current meta that we do have and that would suit uh, for common, uncommon and rare figures and this is why I picked Max Revive, Double Chance, X Speed, Desperate Times and Recycle as my top five plates and in my honest opinion I think they are a pretty solid choice and aren't too crazy, will add some value and um, and I don't and I think leading up to whenever the new figures coming out We'll be able to experiment with different plates and we won't be stuck using like the plates that we've been given now all the way up to whenever the full release comes out. So uh, in this instant we're going to go down and just have a look at Max Revive. That's my first plate choice. So Max Revive is a house plate. So it's ID number 5. It's a rare. Select one of your Pokemon in your PC. That Pokemon moves to the bench. Uh, that Pokemon cannot have weights. So essentially what you do is that if one of your Pokemon is in the PC, you'll just uh, pull it out and it'll go straight into the bench and then that way you can play it um, and away you go. And it's just such a really good plate to have. I don't think it's too dominating and I think it would work really well in the meta, especially for the poor and UC figures take for example it's Butterfree uh, who is a UC figure and has a really really large miss portion so it'll give figures like that a chance to get back onto the field and hopefully land its startling powder that it's supposed to land. Um, another choice is that I really liked was double chance. I'm just going to scroll on up here guys. Uh, I think I've gone past it. So this is a rare plate ID7. Oh sorry. And it chews a Pokemon on the field or bench. You cannot select unusable Pokemon for this turn. You, uh, you can choose to respin it once for it. So essentially you can use this plate and it's good for a one time use only. And so if you don't like the wheel spin that it has, you can respin it again. It's very similar to Kabuto's battle armor ability. If anyone is not familiar with battle armor, it gives you the option to respin the opponent's wheel. But instead of it being the opponent's wheel, it will be your own wheel, which is really awesome, especially if you need to get an edge on a particular wheel slice, which I think is really cool. So we're going to continue on. This is my third play that I have picked and that is X Speed. I really think X Speed is such a nice choice. Um, it's not one that you hear much being used but I like it considering where we are in the meta. Again ID number 91 it's a rare plate um, and X Speed so you're it's a one point plate choose one of your Pokemon on the field or bench for this turn one of these Pokemon's white attacks will be changed to a gold attack before battle now let's take a classic example of Centric Bidoof 
Palkia, Dialga, which is all available in this meta, they have pretty solid white wheels. So essentially this will disco party your uh, Pokemon dual figure and it will completely change into a solid gold wheel. Very handy for going up against figures such as uh, Caterpie, uh, who is a solid purple with its uh, string attack. So I think that would be really awesome to see this plate used and to have a little bit of counter uh, in the current meta. Uh, and then my next choice is for number four is Desperate Times. Now this is a really nifty plate and I think it would work really, really well for the common and uncommon figures. Won't work so well with the rare and above because most of them have pretty good attack damage. But this is ID6 and it's a rare and it's uh, choose one of your Pokemon on the field or bench. For this turn, if that Pokemon spins an attack between 10 and 50 damage, it deals plus 50 damage. So as long as you meet the criteria and get an attack damage between 10 and 50, this will deal an additional damage of 50 plus damage. Um, and it does cost two dash points or two points in this instance. Unfortunately, if you do land uh, like a blue wheel slice such as dodge or um, like your purple wheel slice, it won't count. It has to be um, your white slice attack for this to, to actually, you know, do what it needs to do which is, can be a bit of a downside, but a lot of fun. Especially, let's take uh, Piplop in this instance, um, even Torchic. You know, you can use figures like that and you know um, with a certainty that you will be able to get the advantage and they'll be able to boost or level up in this regard, which I think is pretty cool. Now, my last pl plate choice, which I really like and I really am excited to showcase, is Recycle. ID number three and it's an EX plate and all plates from both players except Recycle becomes usable your turn ends and it's valued at two dash points or two points. And what I like about it is that not only does it give advantage to your own team, but it also gives advantage to your opponent. So in this way it comes in of knowing a little bit of strategy and using your big brain on when and how to play this. Now, a smart time to use Recycle is, for example, um, if you're burning a lot of plates consistently in the beginning and you do something that makes the opponent unable to use plates. In this example, Absol was a perfect example. Uh, Mega evolved that and plates were rendered useless. This is a time when you would use Recycle to gain the upper hand whilst the opponent can't use plates. Burn through all of yours, use Recycle, and your opponent can't do anything with the recycle plate because it's um, they've, all their plates haven't been used because they've been blocked by your figure's ability, which is like really nifty and another element. Uh, particularly if you use it at the end of the game when everyone's used their plates, you pretty much be able to go through and everyone be able to use their plates again and you won't really have an advantage in that regard. But at the same time, it's such a fun plate to play with and it really uh, like makes you think as to how you can use it and when to use it. Um, so I'm also like um, going through and selecting all of these. Like I think in my honest opinion that these are a good choice. Like I don't know if Shadow will bring these in but I'm pretty am hyped for these and I think that they will synergize well with our current matter which is something we need like right now other than just the current three plates that we do have at the moment which is Awakening, Pokemon Switch and Axe Attack. Now just for full disclosure, just because I've just said that I didn't like um, using Goldbox, Purtle Job and Lom Throw, I'm not saying that those plates won't eventually come back. However, I just decided not to include those in my video because in my opinion they don't serve a place just yet in the meta. I just think they will come out at a better time once we start getting more EX and UX figures and I think they will go really nice once we can start getting Mega Evolve uh, plates and we can start like Mega Evolving our Pokemon. Um, so at the end of my video which should start coming up soon um, you will see that I've got um, my 
video uh, about uh, my top five Pokemon figures that I think will be uh, coming out uh, for the new meta whenever Shadowbug 2000 does decide to release them. And guys, please make sure that you come uh, over onto my Twitch channel. I will be going live at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And I am always excited and looking forward to seeing you there, guys. If you guys did enjoy my video, please make sure to go and give it a big thumbs up and to please smash the subscribe bell. All your support is much appreciated, guys. I'm onwards and upwards and keep on growing. I keep on growing as a content creator and for that I'm very excited and I also wanted to take the time to thank you so so much to all the wonderful individuals both on YouTube and Twitch for kindly supporting me in my live streams yesterday all the way from Rocket Rob donating to all the active chatters that we had on my YouTube plus all the beautiful people on my Twitch who gifted me um uh, who subscribed to my channel and and gifted me bits I'm just so, so blessed and that I had a really wonderful evening. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys around soon. I'm going to be doing a very, very special uh, video tomorrow. I think most of you guys know what the 31st of October means to the Pokemon Jewel community. So keep tuned, guys, and I will be releasing a video then. This is your bubbly host, H2O Queen, over and out. Peace, love, light, enjoy, enjoy this day and don't forget to leave a comment in the description below. See you guys and thank you.